The death penalty is a denial of the most basic human rights, it violates one of the most fundamental principles under widely accepted human rights law, that states must recognize the right to life. Some 170 member states of the United Nations with a variety of legal systems, traditions, cultures, and religious backgrounds, have either abolished the death penalty or do not practice it. Yet, prisoners in a number of countries continue to face execution. Some countries execute people who are under 18 years old when the crime was committed, others use the death penalty against people with mental and intellectual disabilities and several others apply the death penalty after unfair trials, in clear violation of international law and standards. People can spend years on death row, not knowing when their time is up, or whether they will see their families one last time. Although Article 6 of the IGPRA permits the use of the death penalty in limited circumstances, it also provides that nothing in this article shall be invoked to delay or to prevent the abolition of capital punishment by any state party to the present covenant. This understanding has led to progress in the abolition of the death penalty worldwide. 35 years ago, only 16 countries had put an end to capital punishment for all crimes while today the number stands at 104. Moreover, of those that still have laws on the books, 35 are abolitionists in practice, meaning they have not executed anyone in at least 10 years. In 2010, only 23 countries were known to have carried out executions. Every year, most of the world's executions take place in only a few countries, and the United States is among those frequent executioners. The Center for Constitutional Rights is dedicated to advancing and protecting the rights guaranteed by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights UDHR, which the U.S. helped draft in the aftermath of World War II and adopted in 1948. Under Article 3 of the UDHR, life is a human right. This makes the death penalty our most fundamental human rights violation. From 2007 to 2011, the United States executed 220 people. In fact, our frequency of executions is matched only by Saudi Arabia, Yemen, North Korea, Iran, and China. People of color have accounted for a disproportionate 43% of total executions since 1976 and 55% of those currently awaiting execution, while they only account for approximately 27% of the general population. Since 1990 Amnesty International has documented at least 152 executions of people who were below the age of 18 at the time of the crime in 10 countries, China, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Iran, Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, South Sudan, Sudan, the USA, and Yemen. In 2020, the most known executions took place in China, Iran, Egypt, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia, in that order. China remains the world's top executioner, but the true extent of the use of the death penalty in China is unknown as this data is classified as a state secret. The global figure of at least 483 recorded in 2020 excludes the thousands of executions believed to have been carried out in China. Excluding China, 88% of all reported executions took place in just four countries, Iran, Egypt, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia. For 40 years, Amnesty has been campaigning to abolish the death penalty around the world. Amnesty monitors its use by all states to expose and hold to account governments that continue to use the ultimate cruel, inhuman, and degrading punishment. We publish a report annually, reporting figures and analyzing trends for each country. Amnesty's latest report, Death Sentences, and Executions 2020 were released in April 2021. Today, two-thirds of countries in the world have either abolished the death penalty outright or no longer use it in practice. Although there have been a few steps backward, these must be weighed up against the clear worldwide trend towards abolition. In 2015 alone, Fiji, Madagascar, and Suriname all turned their backs on the death penalty once and for all. Burkina Faso, Mongolia, and South Korea are on their way to doing the same. Europe remains virtually free of the death penalty. And the USA, historically one of the nation's most reluctant to give up the death penalty, is slowly turning against capital punishment.